prep working the other day. So you know what that means? We're taking my boost tube with our prototype alpha breach, and we're going to throw some numbers on it. 14 kilograms. My friend uh, tied his brass breach with 17 kilograms. Pulls around 180, 190. I would say 190 range. It's pretty, pretty decent. But let's see how we do with version three. And these are rock heavy darts, but they are. Uh, Measure. Okay, so without, we're going to try without Merlin, and then with. Ready? 187. 190. <laughs> I got one of those bottles. 187. Spread of only three feet per second. Pretty cool, but you know what? Let's see how much slower it is with this baby. And you know, for 14 kilograms, that's pretty impressive. Alright, so here we are, Merlin attachment, right there. It's one half at, um, at three inches curvature at 72 millimeters, but with this is cut down to 56, so it's about three eighths at 56 millimeters. It's the twist. The buttons are five millimeters wide, and let's see. 189. Because it's, you still have air power going through the Merlin, and you have less drag, you know, physically, but you're, you're converting that to spin energy. So that the dart is still has power, it still has stabilization, it's like a scar system, you lose power entirely. So, just to show you how compatible our um, alpha, alpha, alpha breach is, I'm going to throw a new magazine in there. And I'm going to go with darts that I more like, called version 2x darts. They're a little worn, but I think they'll be good. Look, see that? Fits. Our Explorer Mag fits. So the same as the Pack D's, and it fires just fine. And the uh, Worker Mag, the Worker P Mag fits just fine. That's because we have an excellent, brilliant head engineer, Alan. You know, sometimes having a head engineer who's been outside of it comes up with better answers. Let's see, version 2x starts. Ready? 208. 207. 209. 188. Again, the last one's closed for some reason, but you can see the average is, is almost into the 210s. With a 14 kilogram spring load, that's pretty efficient. And a lot of that efficiency is, in fact, your O-ring, but it's also the fact that this dump is huge. This is like a 10 millimeter uh, dump coming from the bolt from the plunger cup rather than 7 millimeters. So it allows a more instantaneous available amount of air to go into your barrel. This is tight brass. This is uh, 17 30 seconds brass. So if we were to use something like 509 aluminum or we were to use um, like 505 uh, brass, it would probably have less resistance and go even faster. But I, I like this, it's just more precise. So at any rate, here we are. This is our new product. Our, our new prototype's coming out real soon with all the parts. When I have that, we're gonna make another video. Peace out.